Omar, yes. welcome back to London. Thanks for having me. What should we expect this weekend in London? Expect another win, like the last time. Um, expect me to go out there and have fun and put on a show. What does this place mean to you? I mean, you won a world title here. Yeah. It's, 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 it means a lot. It truly do mean a lot. It's just something about the London ear that gets me, um, especially the fans and how they love track and field and how they appreciate athletes here. Um, it's very warm. It's very welcoming. It just makes it forces you to want to please them. You know, you want to make sure that they leave happy. Um, and it's just the same thing for for um, for them. We for us, we want to make sure that they, you know, they leave happy too. Um, so. Hoddles is such a specialist event. I mean, Context, with, this, with, the, with the sprints, <laughs> you can make mistakes and still recover. Yeah. Talk to me, 10 hurdles. 10 hurdles, like I said, it's a contact sport, and I will always say that. Um, hurdles, it always boils down, the winner always boils down to who has the perfect race all the time. Like, who is more technically sound, like who doesn't hit hurdles. But it's, it's, at the same time, it's so graceful. You know, it's a challenge. It's, a, it's an exciting challenge. The World Championships is a bit later, you know, rather than it's, it's in late September. I mean, usually by now you're getting ready. This is probably the penultimate event or the last one before you go to the World Champs. How does that affect the mind and how would you adjust to that? Yeah, we, us athletes, we were all aware um, ever since it, it, it was changed. And that was last year or sometime last year. Um, so we've already been mentally preparing, um, mentally, physically. And all that, and our team, you know, has already like been putting things in place for us to peak at the right time. It's very tricky. It's very tricky, and it's gonna be, it's gonna be a strategic season. It's gonna boil down to who hits on the, hits it on the head, like, as in like who's gonna be peak ready at the right time, peak at the right time. So that's gonna be very interesting to see. Um, like I said, my team, my team and I, we're pacing it really well. The goal is just to peak one time this year, and that one time is gonna be well. So I know I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be ready. Now, you're Olympic champion, world champion. Yeah. The world record must be on your radar. How far are you from it? It's, it's, it's definitely on my radar. Like I said, I'm just growing and trying to get stronger and better as an athlete. And at first, first, more, first and foremost, just being a better student of the sport and everything else will fall in place. But it's definitely a goal. It's something that I train. It's in the back of my mind when I train for. Obviously, you know, we want to be the best at what we do. And having the world record would really be the icing on my cake. Um, you know, I live literally, like I said, I've won everything there is to be um, to win as a hurdler. Um, I'm very grateful for that, and like I'm, ver I'm young and I'm growing, so my ambitions are all over the place in terms of like wanting to other events. So, the goal is to just try to get the world record, and as soon as I get that, I try, I, I say bye bye to hurdles. We know the Jamaican system, secondary school, college, and all that, but you came through the NCAA in America. Could you share with us what does the NCAA? How does it prepare an athlete to become part of the elite? And what has that system done for you? It's done a lot. I'm very grateful for the NCAA system. Shout out to the NCAA track and field committee. Um, what they do for us athletes, student athletes, is, is extraordinary. And just the season and the schedule of how we, it just, it just prepares you. You know, it just prepares you. And that's why I never advise athletes to go pro out of, college, um, out of high school. Go into the NCAA season because it literally makes you, it builds you. You become tough mentally and physically. That's when you're most in sync mentally and physically um, and it prepares you for the for the I remember I went pro early I went pro my sophomore year but that two year of being in the collegiate season really did it for me I felt like I was ready I got a lot of experience competitive wise and in NCA these guys are running pro times you've seen it you've all seen it over the years like we they produce professional times and by the time you're done and if you're if you're in a smart collegiate system you know that doesn't really burn you out because you tend to get tired it, it, it plays out well for you. You're going to have a good career. What's, could you shed some light? What's happening? I mean, the Jamaica thing, them, Usain Bolt having to defend his coach, talking about the athletes. What's that about? Um, I just think Jamaica's just going through that phase of trying to find that other athlete and put, putting athletes under a lot of pressure to fill that, that, that void. But I don't know about what happened in, um, in depth. I don't know. I just, I've, I've seen the interview. Um, so, and I'm really happy, you know, he made the decision to speak up for his coach. Um, but it's just like a thing, you know, when athletes don't get what they want, they try to 
point fingers and blame other people. Like nobody knows the extent of what really happened. I don't. I don't want to speak of it, but I just know it was really good for him to like come out and speak. You know, because him and his coach they've had a really good career, and you know, I guess he's like a father figure to Usain Bolt. So I know Usain was itching to like say something. So. Last question: Where would the danger come from in terms of you trying to retain your title? Who would be your main contenders? The ten obstacles in front of me. To be honest, uh, the athletes—they never change. They're always there. But my compet my competition is the ten obstacles in front of me, literally. Thank you for your time. Thank you.